Hey, welcome back troopers. So today I've got a beginner's guide for you all. How to reheat shrink your 18650 cells a little bit faster. Now in front of me, I have a little rewrapping to do. Now I would like to change everything to the gray color just for a little bit of consistency. And also I need to remove all these yucky bits off each cell. So some of them have sticky bits. Some have this white stuff you've sort of got to chip off with your fingernail or something like that. Uh, others have black sort of gump on them. And then others, others else again, we've got these blue ones here with more of that sticky stuff and some more tape. So I want to take all that off now. Two reasons, aesthetics, how fast it comes in and out of here, it doesn't stick. And also it allows extra airflow, uh, which will help keeping the cells cool. I know it's not much, but there is a little airflow benefit there and also a weight benefit, so it's not so heavy. Again, it's minimal, but it's still there and still present. So that is what I would like to do today. Now I've been putting a lot of thought into how I could do this quickly. Back in the day, I had to actually manually trim each heat shrink because it wasn't quite the length, right length. But Keith from 18650shrink.com can provide all of the heat shrinks at exactly the right size. Now I used to put them here, and then I used to grab the heat gun, turn it on. Hopefully I wouldn't do it so much that it would melt it. Or oh, we might have actually had, we might actually have three good ones here. But then you go to the bottom and they fall over. And then you've got to chase them around to heat them up and they blow everywhere. It's not ideal, right? We haven't got a good heat shrink on that end sort of sticking up a little bit. It's picked up a little bit of gunk off the desk. It's stuck underneath there. And it's not quite right at that end on that one. And again, that one's too long on that end and not quite enough covering on that little insulator ring. Got a bit I've missed there because it didn't roll around. And this one here again, too, well, there's probably too little on that end and too much on that end. So I'm trying to work out a way that will do that a lot faster. Now I do need some help with something as it turns out. Now these heat shrinks here, the only way I've been able to do it is by grabbing a sharp tool, something like this, inserting it into the end, prying it apart, and then sliding the sleeve over. Now what I've come up with is just a simple piece of scrap of tin or iron, metal of some description, and you place it on there, and all that you gotta do is simply slide it on. And that's all you have to do to measure it up. Now, as you can see, it goes on quite quickly. And now what I've used is just little magnets off eBay. Now these little magnets are four millimeters deep and they're 10 millimeters across. And they're designed to have a screw to go through them. Now I deliberately chose these ones. That way it's got a larger surface area on the bottom and a smaller surface area on the top, which means it'll always stick to this bit of steel rather than the cell allows the perfect distance in between the bottom of the cell and the heat shrink to slide down in order to um, fit that heat shrink perfectly. Now all that we've got to do is grab the insulators, put them in the top, grab the heat gun and go over it. Oh no, the first one failed. All my testing. I must have done this 20 times already and the first one I tried failed anyway. But as you can see, the tops are all going on quite well. Now I've only got this on a very low heat. Once I get faster at it, I could probably add a little bit more heat to it.
and even on high, it won't blow the cells away so they can all still stay there. It blows everything away, else I'll own the desk. Now let's have a look at each one. So that one's fine. It's even on both ends. That one, that one must have been, I must have had the magnet non-centered. So that's something to think about. Again, magnet's not centered sitting on the side. Magnet's not centered. That one's fine. Not bad. Again, magnet not centered. Ah, oh, look at that. You can you can prove we're not all perfect, but it's still a good concept. I think it's got a, a solid idea and it's definitely a lot faster than putting it on the bench. And I guess even if they're not centered, we can just add a little bit more heat afterwards. And they're fixed right up. So tubers, what do you reckon? Is that a solid idea to re shrink cells? I think it's a bloody great idea if I should be honest. Um, so again, these are little four millimeters tall or four millimeters high, and then they're 10 millimeters across. And I'll link them in the description below. And then also link where you can get the good heat shrinks from. So tubers, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you like this little beginner's guide. I think it'll help a lot of people out. And I'll see you on the next one.